This year, we're gonna be getting a remake of the legendary Rolly 35 from Mint, which is a great time as we're seeing more and more film and film cameras come into the market this upcoming year. Mint has been primarily known for their remaking of the SX70, adding manual control and an external flash. While they're modifying already existing SX70s, it appears that they are creating their own components to upgrade them, so they obviously have the infrastructure to be able to create some of these metal camera components at bulk. While they have some of their other products, which are definitely lesser known, they were all in and focused on instant film until October of 2022, when they first teased the development of the camera, stating a variety of different things the camera would and would not be, which started to lead the speculation of a Roly-like camera. Then this past November, they released an update on the camera as well as some photos. It reads, Apologies for the long delay in providing an update. We have been immersed in the meticulous process of making various adjustments and conducting pre-manufacturing work. The good news is that we have successfully addressed the light leak and viewfinder issues, in addition to implementing numerous minor design enhancements and passing rigorous tests. We're working on the first 10 pre-production units right now while digging out the remaining bugs, and mass production will come after that. After a painstaking four-year journey, we can finally announce the design has been finalized, and now getting to the part that everyone wants to know. The first question is how much will the camera be? They're estimating around 650 to 800 US dollars and that it will be available in 2024. Additionally, they go on to talk about the uh, financial cost of the project and that the research and development costs associated with developing the camera has been uh, abysmally high or as they put it, sky high. The mold costs, labor costs, and everything is just very expensive. Uh, and basically Mint is risking the entire company to get this project off the ground. Please spread the word, we want more awareness on this project. It continues on to say, It's fascinating to look back because Mint once contemplated offering the Rolly 35, but eventually shifted our focus to the Polaroid SX70. I only later learned that the original Rolly 35 is very difficult to handle. You can only guess the focus and it often encounters issues with the light meter. It then goes on to show a photo comparing the old Rolly 35 body with the new Mint Rolly 35 housing. Needless to say, I'm super stoked about this project. While I haven't actually shot a Rolly 35, mostly because I've heard that they're actually pretty difficult to master. Between Mint, Pentax, even Kodak's ridiculously expensive camera, uh, Harman Photo's recent Phoenix film. This is a really good time for film photography and I think the future is bright as long as we can continue to support these companies with their new endeavors into these film products. I'm hoping with the rising popularity of these new products, we can see more and more film products come to the market as manufacturers are hopefully more apt to be creating them and consumers will in return purchase them. What do you guys think of this new Rolly from Mint? Is it something you'd be interested in? For me, compared to all the other inflated prices of secondhand cameras being resold by secondhand stores it only makes sense to pay probably the same price at what you'd be getting a comparable camera for but be supporting a company that's really trying to revive film and support us as film photographers and consumers of this media as more news and film camera news keeps popping up this year make sure you subscribe to stay in tune with all the news as i'll be bringing it to you as i hear it in real time otherwise i think that's gonna wrap it up for this video guys thanks so much for watching till the next one stay safe stay shooting peace out